Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Sentosa Island which is one of the islands off the south of Singapore. There's different ways to get here, one being the MRT which is the one we took and we got off at the Harbourfront station and then took a walk to the Vivo City station and if you head up to the third floor there you'll find the Santosa desk where you can get all your tickets. There's also the Santosa Express, which is a free shuttle service that'll take you into the park. So this is us just heading into the park now. And we allocated ourselves a full day to spend here, but you could quite easily spend a few more days, possibly even a week, two weeks. The cable car is a really good way to travel around and it costs 35 Singaporean dollars for a round trip. The trip takes around 30 minutes from one end of the park to the other and it's got some absolutely amazing views. Are you excited? Oh, excited? This is the Sky Helix and this cost 18 Singaporean dollars and it also had some of the most amazing views of Singapore and on a clear day you can see as far out to Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down, Frank. Yes, don't, look never. Down. Don't, don't look down. Don't look down. Yeah. Who booked it? You booked it. <laughs> <laughs> For us, there was four main attractions at Sentosa that we wanted to see. One of them was this one, the Sky Helix. And the other three were the cable car, the bungee jump and the giant swing. But looking back now, after visiting, we would have allocated more time to do other things as well. So we're just gonna head back to the cable car and go to the other side of the island. So sit back, relax and enjoy the view. So there's Fang, putting a red in the hole. <laughs> Never misses a photo opportunity. So this is the bungee jump, which is, I think it's 17 floors high. And, yeah, it is high. It's probably gonna look higher when you're up there. So yeah, this is a bungee jump and it is 47 meters high. And if you want to do it, it costs 99 Singaporean dollars. And there's also a package where you can get the media as well, which is 59 Singaporean dollars. So basically, if you're going to do the jump, this put a GoPro on your arm and record it. And then if you like it, you can buy it afterwards. Well, 
Welcome to Sky Park Centre, sir. We got Philip, all the way from England. How are you doing today, buddy? Yeah, good, thank you. Doing good. You ready for your first bungee? Yeah. All right, time to fly. Let's go. So that was me getting ready to do my first ever bungee jump and if you'd like to see the full video of that I'll put a link in the description and on the screen and at the end of the video so check that out if you want to see me absolutely sh** self This is Centosa World an area where we got the free sky train back to and there's plenty of food stalls and bars around here so you're bound to find something to your liking or to your taste this is a meal that we had which was very nice I think it came to around 60 Singaporean dollars which is kind of what you'd expect to pay in a place like this So the next stop was the Sea Aquarium and this had to be one of my favourite places that we went to. So this is currently the largest aquarium in the world and it has more than 10,000 sea animals that live in over 45 million litres of water. The cost for the ticket was 41 Singaporean dollars but you can maybe get it cheaper if you look online. And what we really liked about this place was just the sheer space of it. I mean, there's 49 different zones that you can go to. And this was one of my favorites with all the different jellyfish. There's so many different species that you wouldn't get to see normally. So this has to be one of the biggest fish tanks that I've ever seen in my life. It is absolutely massive, as with a fish. So I stood here for about 10 minutes recording these fish so that you could have 30 seconds of therapeutic time watching these little fishies swim around. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So the weather's changed pretty quick. Well, we timed that pretty well. At this end of the park, you'll find one of the six Universal Studios from around the world. This being the Universal Studios of Singapore, which is essentially a theme park within a theme park. I am informed it has 28 rides, various shows and attractions in seven different theme zones. So if you are coming to Centaurs or Island and want to visit Universal Studios, I would recommend allocating yourself at least two days to spend here. So that's our video of our experience of Centaurs or Island and I must say it was one of the best experiences that we had in Singapore. If you are visiting Singapore, I would highly recommend it. So I'd like to just say a big thank you for watching the video and we hope that you've enjoyed it. So if you are in Singapore and looking for something to do, get yourself to Sentosa. Got any comments or questions, uh, please leave them below and we'll happily get back to you. Thank you for watching.